Hi, welcome again to Nexus RV. Here we are in Elkhart, Indiana at our showroom. And today what we're doing is a walk around on a Class B+. Plus. Nexus RV has been making this product for nearly 10 years. And the Class B Plus category is built on the E450 chassis. It's built to be stylistic and be able to maneuver around the country, take you to places that you can go, that you don't have to have your 40 foot motorhome with you. This unit that we're gonna look at today is 25 foot. I'm excited to host you and do the walk around on both the outside and inside of the unit. So let's get started. Hi again, welcome. This is the Viper 25V. This is a Class B Plus product that's built on the E450 or E350 chassis. The E450 is an option. This unit has a Ford V10 gas engine and it's got the Ford transmission under the hood. It gets about 8 to 10 miles a gallon depending on how you drive and, and certainly where you're driving, the altitude and the angles. Uh, this unit is built with a beautiful front cap. It's designed to be aerodynamic. Um, it's not meant to look like a Class C, a traditional Class C, that's thus the Class B plus designation. And we start with the fiberglass front cap, it's three pieces, so the top cap is one piece. You have a seam here, and the columns are all fiberglass pre-molded, and then you have your fiberglass running boards that really give it that sleek exterior look. Also, this has got the deluxe breakaway mirrors. And as you might be able to see here, this has got the camera for the side view camera option inside the mirror. So when you're driving down the road, you turn your blinker on, it'll show you what's happening on that side of the, of the motorhome. So again, it gives you that extra safety as you're driving down the road because safety is a big part of what we tell people is great about our product and we'll get into some of that later. We have power driver seat and we have the electric power windows and locks, which is something a lot of manufacturers don't do in their unit. They'll get the cheaper version or they won't option up all those real nice features like we're doing. We do not cut corners on our E450 or E350 Ford chassis. We'll give you a shot of the cockpit when we get inside the unit. As we move further to the after the unit, what we have here is um, the best construction in the industry. We really talk a lot about that and I'll start with the roof. We have a seamless wraparound fiberglass roof and it is all pre-metal stamped trussing. It's got block foam insulation and our HVAC duct system. I'll show you what that looks like on the inside. But it's all vacuum bond laminated. It's about five inches in the center. It tapers to two and three quarter so there's a runoff for your water to run off your roof. Our sidewalls and our floors are also vacuum bond laminated. The great thing about our product is there's no wood in our sidewalls or our roof. So you don't have any formaldehyde. With the, um, the composite material we use is a higher R factor. It reduces the road noise as you're going down the road. So our exterior is a super slick exterior fiberglass with a substrate that's composite, block foam insulation. Our interior wall board is also made with a composite and it's all framed in a high strength, low alloy, 20 gauge steel. The great thing about this product is that it gives you high safety level. We tested it against all other aluminum vacuum bond laminated walls out there and we were 72% stronger. So we feel as though we're giving you a great built coach. The other benefit to using that high strength low alloy steel is when you're driving down the road, you don't get the wobbly box feel you get with a lot of other manufacturers. As we continue to move south on the unit, we have a six gallon uh, water heater that's retractable every seven minutes. Uh, this is your vent for your reefer, uh, which is nice. It's a, it's a 7.5 reefer that we have standard in the unit. This is the um, four color deluxe paint from Sherman Williams. Standard in this unit is a deluxe graphics package and it's the white exterior. So um, you wanna spend a little more money and have a nicer looking unit. This is about a $8,000 option to option up on your four color paint. As we move backwards on the unit, I wanna point out a real nice feature is that all our storage compartments are galvanized steel. And in this case, we have black and gray tank inside the storage compartment. They're all heated and enclosed. For a 25 footer, you don't see that very often. A lot of people will have their black and gray tanks hanging underneath their unit and they're not heated or enclosed and you're going to find yourself in a position where you might have fro freezing happen if you're, uh, if you're enjoying your RV at, uh, uh, in the fall season. One thing I want to point out as well, you've got a full length patio awning. This awning has the LED lighting and it opens up and it gives you about a 20 foot patio which is unheard of when you look at a 25 foot motorhome. A couple other things I'll point out. We use some extra automotive seal around the windows. We call it the no squeak, no leak window seal. 
So this gives you a little extra protection in the event uh, you're driving down the road and you can't figure out where that squeak's coming in your current motorhome. We try to take care of that beforehand. So all our windows on our Vipers have the automotive window seal on it. Now we're gonna go to the back of the Viper 25V. There's a lot of real exciting stuff back here. And it starts with the entire rear wall is vacuum bond laminated. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. They'll just hang some wood or they'll put a cap on the rear. We vacuum bond laminate so you have the structure and the strength back here that's not gonna allow your unit to sway or turn or feel like it's in a trailer. But then what we do is we add a four piece ABS part system along the top, the columns, and the rear bumper. The great thing about that is that if somebody hits you or you have some um, unfortunate situation, every part can be replaced separately and you don't have the expense of replacing the entire rear cap. Now each one of our rear of our units have brake lights that are LED and the LED along the top portion of the unit. So it's bright and it's again safety oriented. Anybody that's behind you, they're going to see when you brake. So hopefully you don't have any situation where they're uh, unable to see that your brake system is on. Uh, a couple things I'm going to point out back here is that we have a rear view camera on the rear of the unit. That camera is adjustable. So if you're towing behind your unit, you can point the camera down on your freight. Or if you just want to point the camera outward and treat it like a rear view camera, you can do that. We have a 7,500 pound hitch on the rear of this unit. So you can tow up to 7,500 pounds depending on what else you're carrying with you as you're going down the road. This, this unit has an optional roof ladder, as you can see here. And as you, as you pan around, you can see the beauty of that exterior coach. It's one of the best looking B-plus rear ends in the world. I'm excited now to show you the, the driver's side of the 25V Viper. It's got a lot of uh, features and appointments in a unit so small. First off, this is a full wall slide, and we'll see the unit with the slide room out. So the entire length of the unit is nearly a, a slide out, uh, and there's some real benefit to why we do that in the floor plan layout, which I, I hope to show you a little bit later. This unit has an outside shower in the unit. This unit also has an Anderson valve, and going along the lines of what we talked about before, you have some pass-through storage on the exterior of the unit. But I really think the great thing about the unit is for a unit so small, you're getting a totally enclosed and accessible dump station that has valves and pulleys and your, your low point drain is here as well. It's all enclosed so you don't have to worry about um, any, any kind of freezing or anything else. We talk a lot th about that a lot because in a 25V or 25 footer, a lot of product out there does not have enclosed holding tanks. Our slide out has a slide out topper on top of the unit, which is a nice feature. So when your slide out is out, you can um, assure that no, no debris is getting on top of your slide room and it protects you from having any kind of seal issues. One of the big benefits to this unit also is that we have a large exterior storage compartment. This is something that's not heard of in a 25 footer. You can actually remove the shelving and you can hang or put golf clubs in there, big suitcases, and for a 25 footer, you get extraordinary amount of storage. As I move forward, the gas fill for the unit is on the driver's side, so you just need to know that. The gas fill is right there. This is 16 and a half inch tires from Ford. Again, the, the slide system is what we call a Norcold slide system. You have a 4,000 watt Onan generator on board of this unit. So you're going to be able to run your generator off your fuel station. So when you're, you're dry camping or boondocking, you, uh, you don't have to worry about LP. It just runs right out of your fuel system. And it is an Onan. So it's uh, the best number one selling generator in the industry. And again, you have plenty of storage for this unit. Now it's not the big raised rail. So you have a few past view, you have a nice exterior storage here. Now what I'd like to do is take you on inside the unit. Again, this is the Viper 25V. We're gonna go on inside and take a look at this unit. As we do, I'm gonna open up the door and point out a couple nice features. We have an exterior handbar for those people that are a little more challenged. And when you open it up, this particular model, the 25V, has the double electric step. There's also an inside handrail. So let's check it on out as we go inside. This again is one of the greatest floor plans you're ever going to see the, the, for 25 footer. But let's start in the cockpit. Looking at the very front of the Ford cockpit, what you have here is recovered nice pleather driver passenger seats that are two-tone and you have the armrest. So you have some real nice features there. I want to point out also we have 
the dipped burl wood. These are not stickers that are sitting on top of the dash. These are actually dipped into a liquid and it forms around the part that we send to them. Again, you have power, the power steering, you have cruise control. We have the in-dash dual monitor that gives you Sirius radio ready. So when you back up a little bit, you're gonna see you have a nice 32 inch TV and you have some nice area for storage over here with the smoked glass on both sides. This is where you might put your DVD player or a satellite dish or something because it's all tied together with your, your TV. I wanna point out also that the TV is adjustable. So if you wanna watch it while you're on the dinette or you're making dinner and you wanna watch it while you're, um, you're cooking dinner, you have it available there. Now remember, this entire length of this side is a slide out, and I wanna start with one of the most impressive things about our product. In the Viper, we have an upgraded furniture package made by a local craftsman, and this particular dinette booth has got a lock system on it that you don't see anywhere else. And let me see if I can undo it. So you have dual drawer glides, tongue and groove compartments. This is something you don't see from any other manufacturer. You also have the Dream Dinette system that you unlatch this and it pushes down and this makes into a little bed area. Inside the slide system, you have raised rail, you have antique treated raised rail hardwood panel uh, cabinet doors that are made by the Amish community. And as you can see, we have struts on all our doors so you can, uh, you don't have to hold them open when you're, you have to get in and out. We have the decorative over the head lamp and we have in the unbelievably nice, nicely decorated uh, table, we have cup holders. You have two forward seats that are for seat belts, so when you're driving down the road, there's some safety there. And I'll continue to go into the rear of the slide. Again, this is a 25 foot unit, and we have huge storage available for you. We have a his and hers, we have adjustable shelves for you. Uh, you can remove the shelves and use it as a, a pantry. And then we have two big drawers so you have a sock or underwear drawer, and then you have two more that are much deeper because this, this part is not part of the slide room. And then in the rear, you have a 60 by 80 queen bed, which is unheard of for a 25 footer. This has got the optional TV that you can turn the TV and watch it from your bed or from the dinette. You also have window inside your slide room and you have your exit window there. So, uh, so if there's any need, you can get right out through the window. The balance treatments have the roller shades on it. We don't put legs on them so that you can walk around and you don't hit your shoulders. And while we're looking at this, I wanna remind you, we have that vacuum bond laminated roof I talked about. It's an HVAC duct system. So you have a return air in the center and then you have an HVAC duct system here that circulates the air as good as any diesel pusher motor home in the market. Standard on this unit is a 13.5 ducted roof air conditioning system. All LED lighting on the inside, so it's low, it uses a low amount of energy. The 25V, for being a 25 footer, really has a remarkable bathroom area. You have this vessel sink that sits on top of a very beautiful countertop, but you get a massive two door medicine cabinet that you can put your toiletries away uh, and have plenty of room for a unit this size. As we go back further into the bathroom, you have a porcelain commode, which is awesome, with a long shower head with a long hose so you can reach any area you wanna reach. This unit has the glass shower door. Standard is a vinyl shower door that looks nearly the same. Now I'm gonna tell you, we went through this floor plan, it's a 25V Viper full wall slide. It has all the amenities. I'm gonna finish talking about what's on the inside here at the kitchen area, starting with the Dometic refrigerator. This is a 7.5 7 cubic foot refrigerator. And when you go over to the countertop, we've really taken it out of the park for a unit this size and this price point. Starting with a 1.3 cubic foot microwave standard convection option fits in the same hole and it's a frigid air gallery. So that we didn't, we went to the top of the line appliance. And then we, we stepped it up this year. We have your uh, US, USB port, your 110 port. You have your glass cover for your three burner range and this has an oven in it as well. So you can see again, it's the medic has, has really done a good job of redesigning their units. It, it has this real nice, um, the high end kitchen look to it. And again, the solid surface countertop. And this unit has a single bowl stainless undermount sink. And this has got the farm style, the farm style faucet head 
and you also get the extension on your countertop. So if you're working in some areas, you get that extra room to prepare your meals and so on. Looking at this unit, 25 foot, all the amenities, upgraded furniture, upgraded cockpit, unbelievable kitchen, large bathroom, queen bed, walk around, so easy access, two TVs, the best construction in the industry. There is not a B plus in the marketplace that gives you more bang for your buck when you're looking at a 25 footer. Thanks a lot for looking at our product and I hope to see you at the dealership soon.